The FSA is much bigger and has more receiving elements than other antennas on the market. This means more channels and improved picture quality. Here's what you'll find inside the box. The main antenna comes in four parts. A base element connected to the 360 degree rotating mode, director elements, and two reflector panel. It also comes with a control box, remote control, UL listed control box power supply, coaxial cable, VHF reception enhancement rod, four-way coaxial splitter, a box of cable clips, and a bag with screws and brackets for antenna assembly. Follow the instruction manual to assemble the main antenna with the screws and brackets. After installing the antenna, connect it to the control box with a coaxial cable. Plug in the control box power supply. And then connect the control box to the TV. Use your TV's auto scan feature when hooking it up to the control box for the first time. This allows your TV to scan for all available channels. The Clearstream 4V antenna from Antennas Direct has a range of up to 70 miles, giving you the ability to receive a multitude of free, high-definition local broadcast networks with expanded programming. The Clearstream 4V can be installed in your attic or on your roof, and comes with everything you see here. Today we will focus on exterior installation. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a power drill with a 3 16th drill bit, ratcheting drivers sized 8 and 10 millimeters, and some coaxial cable. First, attach each antenna base to the center of each reflector by clicking securely in place. Attach the crossbars to the back of the reflectors using the 1 and 5 8 threaded bolts. Position the loop elements so that the antenna's direct logo on each is in the same orientation. Then, add each loop element to the antenna bases using the 3 and a half inch bolts. Attach the U-bolt to the backplate of the mounting hardware and then thread through the holes in the crossbars. Attach the rest of the clamp hardware to the U-bolt and finish loosely with the wing nuts. Next, loosely attach wing nuts to the screws on the back of the loop elements. Then, join the combiner bars with the screws and tighten in place with the wing nuts. Using the short coaxial cable provided, thread one end into the UHF in connector on the VHF dipole kit. Then, raise the dipoles into the up position. Attach the VHF dipole kit onto the first and second bar of the reflector. Now, connect the other end of the coaxial cable with the weather boot to the antenna. Now, it's time to assemble the J-mount mast. Attach the J-mount mast to the mount base using the hex bolts and nuts. Visit AntennaPoint.com and enter your zip code. You will find a list of stations, distance, and a precise compass heading. If you don't have a compass, simply download a free app from your preferred app store to your smartphone. Before installing the antenna outdoors, it is important to test the antenna in a location that offers the clearest possible view in the direction of the broadcast towers, avoiding placement around tall trees and buildings. Mark the mast base position on your desired surface. Then, drill a one and a half inch deep hole with a 3 16th drill bit for each mounting bolt. Next, place ceiling pads over each drill hole. Push an indentation into each of the ceiling pads so that you can see where you drilled the holes. Then, place the base on top of the ceiling pads and use a ratchet or drill to tighten the bolts. 
Before installing your antenna, make sure the mast is adjusted so that it is vertical. Slide the antenna over the top of the mast and tighten loosely into place. Place the mount base end cap on the J-mount mast. Connect one end of your own coaxial cable into the UHF VHF out connector on the dipole kit and the other end into your television. Then, on your television, make sure that your input is set to antenna or air and then scan for channels. If you are not receiving signals for the available channels, you may need to reposition your antenna and rescan. And that's it. You are now ready to receive free over-the-air television with unsurpassed quality compared to cable or satellite. The FSA 6818 is the newest TV antenna on the market. It has much bigger and wider receiving elements than most other antennas. Also, it is compatible with next-gen TV. Here's what you'll find inside the box. The base frame, looped elements, UHF dipole element, VHF dipole element, two reflectors, mounting bracket, brackets and wing nuts, J-pole, and a set of instructions. Start by attaching the two VHF dipole elements to the base frame with two size S wing nuts. Then attach two UHF dipole elements onto the base with another two wing nuts. Attach both base frames together using the bracket and size M wing nuts. Prepare the two sets of reflectors by attaching them to one another. Attach the two set of reflectors onto the end of the base frame by using L size wing nut. Type in TV Fool on Google search and enter your zip code to find the nearest antenna tower near you. Make sure you face the antenna towards the nearest signal tower. Connect the coaxial cable to the TV. Use your TV auto scan feature to find all available channels. Get the best of TV antennas on the market with the FSA 6818.
I learned to stop. I 